12 minutes, 37.35 seconds. That's the goal for Joshua Cheptegei. Over the previous few seasons, there have been very few things that this Ugandan runner has not achieved. However, this 5,000 meter world record just might be his most difficult challenge to date. On Friday, August 14th, Cheptegei will run in the Diamond League meeting in Monaco. And directly in his sights is this stellar world record set by the Ethiopian legend Kenini Sibakele. On May 31st of 2004, he ran the fastest 5,000 meter race of all time, averaging under 61 seconds per lap for 12 and a half straight laps. Since 2018, Cheptegei has unquestionably been one of the greatest distance runners in the world, as over the past two years, he's broken three world records, he's won the World Cross Country Championships, and he won the Track and Field World Championships in the 10,000 meters, all while competing against extremely talented competition. Indeed, the future for this 23-year-old is enormous, but according to both Cheptegei and his coach, the 5,000 meter world record is very realistic, and if there's a time to do it, it's right now. In a recent interview, Cheptegei said, I was encouraged with my 5K world record in Monaco, and I thought there is no better place or time to attack the 5,000 meter world record than this year. I always tell my coach, I want to become the greatest distance runner of all time. I believe I can do extraordinary things, so this is certainly a realistic goal. These are quite the strong words from this Ugandan athlete, and according to his coach, Addy Ruder, the world record is certainly within his reach. He said that the 5,000 meter world record is a realistic goal. I can see from his training that he can run a very fast 5K. The conditions are usually very good in Monaco, and I think he can run a world record. Otherwise, why would he be going for it? Indeed, there is no lack of confidence from Cheptegei's corner, but can he actually become one of only four athletes to ever run under 1240? And beyond that, what are the odds that he can somehow outperform one of the greatest distance running achievements in track and field history? Now, the task of running under 1240 for the 5000 will require a superhuman effort. However, Cheptegei has a plan that just might take him into distance running glory. Through the first five laps, he is aiming to hit a time of five minutes and five seconds. And through 3,000 meters, which is seven and a half laps, he plans to split a time of exactly 737. After this 3K split, if he wants to break the world record, he'll need to run his final five laps in four minutes and 59 seconds, which is definitely within the reach of Cheptegei, but considering that he will have to do this after running a 737 for his opening 3000, he will need an almost perfect performance to challenge Bekele's record. This pacing strategy is quite compelling, as it's actually the exact same pacing method that Bekele ran 16 years ago when he set the current world record. Through five laps, he split five minutes and five seconds. Through 3,000 meters, he split a time of 7.37. And over his final five laps, he ran a time of exactly five minutes with a blistering final 400 of approximately 57.75 seconds. This method was obviously very effective as it set a new world record by two full seconds. But what is even more interesting about this pacing is that it's also the strategy used by Haile Gaver Selassie when he broke the 5K world record back in 1998. Historically speaking, this approach has been very successful. However, these final five laps will undoubtedly be very difficult. Thankfully, over the previous few months, Cheptegei's build-up to this world record attempt has been incredible. And with this new level of world-class fitness, Cheptegei certainly has a chance. From March through May of this year, he was forced to train completely alone. And during this time, he only ran from his house during the early morning hours. At the time, he still ran eight training sessions per week. However, in the second half of May, Uganda finally lifted their lockdown restrictions, allowing athletes to train in groups of five athletes or less. According to his coach, his current speed is at an all-time high, and to match this world-class power is still a very high level of endurance. For the previous few months, Cheptegei has been running his speed sessions almost exclusively on a grass track, 
And unlike the typical tracks around the world, this loop has around 5 meters of total elevation change. This type of training is quite different from typical track work, but one big positive from these sessions has been a big increase in Cheptegei's mental strength. In reflecting on these track sessions, his coach said that a few years ago, it was sometimes difficult for Joshua to mentally run the very high speed sessions. Now he is mentally so much more mature, he can now push to much higher limits, and that is why he is quickly improving. Indeed, his recent workouts have been going extremely well, but it's also very important to remember, he has only raced once this season, and this race was a new 5K world record, where he absolutely obliterated the previous record by well over 20 seconds. This race is the biggest indicator that Chepigai is possibly in world record shape, and even though this was on the roads, he managed to run incredibly consistent splits, with only a 5 second differential from his fastest kilometer to his slowest. Indeed, running a 5,000 meter race on the track is different from a 5K race on the roads, but still, this is clearly a positive indicator that Chepigai is ready to run a fast time in Monaco. Also, this 5K race was accomplished with no pacers, and even though there were other athletes in the race, this was essentially a time trial for Cheptegei. With his new incredible fitness, his mental strength, and hopefully the proper pacing strategy, Cheptegei's chances of running a world record in Monaco are actually pretty decent. However, there's a reason this 5,000 meter world record has stood for so long, and that's because it truly is one of the greatest records in track and field. If Cheptegei can somehow capture some of his previous racing magic, who knows, the world record just might be under threat, but it will certainly take a monumental effort to take down. And now I want to hear from you guys. Will this world record go down? And if so, what time will Joshua Cheptegei run? Thanks for watching everyone, and as always, until next time.